I'm Julie Waters, Corrective Exercise Specialist, and this is a fit tip to help you move toward a healthier version of yourself. Are you trying to figure out how to get healthy but don't know where to start? And maybe you scroll through Instagram and you see a lot of advertisements that tell you need to take a particular class or have a certain type of equipment. I'm here to tell you that uh, while those things may be helpful, they are absolutely not necessary. What you need is your body, a little bit of time, and the willingness to move. One of my favorite exercises to assign my clients for homework only requires a floor space for you to lie down on and enough head space for you to stand up fully. The exercise I want to challenge you to do at home is called a get-up. Now there are a lot of different types of get-up. One of them is a Turkish get-up, which is actually a weightlifting or a Greco-Roman movement. That's not what I'm talking about. The movement I'm talking about is as simple as it sounds. Get up. The first get-up is called a prone get-up. Prone means front side down. So lie down on your belly and get up. The only rule is that you cannot turn around. So if you start with your belly facing the floor, at no point during this movement will you turn so that your belly faces the sky. That's pretty much the only rule, so feel free to experiment with technique. Not everybody's body is the same, so it makes sense that everybody's getup might look different. As you go through these movements, I'd like to encourage you to pay attention to what your body is saying. See where you feel uncomfortable or limited in your mobility and make adjustments where needed. For the supine getup, you'll lie down on your back. The same rule applies, you cannot flip over. So if you lie down with your heart and belly facing the sky, you're going to maintain that until you get to standing. You can use your legs for momentum and you can definitely use your hands for support. The thing you may need the most is creativity and patience for this one. Most people don't get up to standing from their back. So if you find this particularly challenging, you're not alone. And that's how you do a get up. So we did prone get ups from the belly, supine get ups from the back. If you want to get more mobile and just fitter really fast, or if you want to understand what your level of fitness is, this is a great way to learn and get better. Uh, I would recommend that you do this for one minute and just practice either variation. Maybe you want to do a prone get up one day and a supine get up the next day. Don't do it for speed, do it for quality and see if you can be patient enough to figure out where you're having problems with getting up and down and start to resolve those. 